Welcome to PyLab. This app I am going to use one, two, three, four, five different object. They have the diameter and they have the circumference. I'm going to measure the diameter and circumference, of course. And um, the diameter will be x axis. Diameter will be x axis, which is in centimeter. And circumference will be uh, y axis, which is also in centimeter. And the slope would be pi or 3.14, or at least close to 3.14. And uh, if it is within five percent error, then we'll ex uh, uh, we'll accept the the lab. Okay, and uh, so let's get started. Um, make sure that the unit unit cancels centimeter over centimeter, so cancel. So there will be no unit pi is three point one four. This is x axis, and this would be circumference. So this is y axis. So five point, I would say five point five centimeter. So eighteen. Point one diameter would be coffee mug diameter is exactly eight eight so circumference hopefully we'll get a whole number nine or twenty five point eight dividing so I'm gonna write twenty five point eight so the diameter would, uh, of this one would be eight point two eight point two a little bigger of course so the circumference has to be a little bigger twenty six point Four. Next big one would be diameter would be uh, let's see oh 9.5 oh wow almost a whole number 30 diameter is 11.1 .1. and the circumference would be I have 35.5 35.6 now I'm gonna put them here over here so now what I'm gonna do so let's do the best fit line this is one two three four Two one two three four five point five comma 18.1 so this is 18 so 18.1 has to be right here okay 25.8 which is about 26 so this is 25 so 25.8 which is close to 26 the next one is 8.2, 26.4. So right here. Uh, 9.5, 30. And this is 9, 9.4, 9.4. This is 9, this is 9, 9.4, and 30. Point 0.1, this is 11. 11.1 and 35.6 so this is 35 this is 35 this is 30 this is 35 then this is 35.6 all right so let's write it seems like uh, all right so i have uh one point above the line I have two point on the line and I have one point below the line. So this is not too bad. This, uh, let's see, this is a point and that would be, um, this is three, so this is 2.5, so 2.5 comma eight. This point would be four comma 13. So this is seven, 6.5 comma 21 this one and this one okay so this one four 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 comma 13 and 6.5 comma 21 x1 y1 x2 y2 notice that this point does not come from this table if this point come from this table then that would not be good this point must not come from the table this point must come from the base fit line as you see that 4 comma 13 this is 4 comma 13 this is 4 comma 13 just make sure that this is 13 and this is 4 4 comma 13 and this is 6.5 6.5 comma comma 21 comma 21 so make sure you have that so y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 
So y2 is 21 minus 13, 8, and, um, uh, and, um, and uh, 6.5, 2.5. So 8 divided by 2.5 is 3.2. 3.2 minus 3.14 divided by 3.14 times 100%. Hopefully this is less than uh, 5%. So 3.2 minus 3.14 divided by 3.14 uh, times 100, which is uh, about 2% error. The step and then table. So now I'm gonna put 5.5, 5.5, and then 8, 8.2, 8 9.5, 11.1. All right, now I have L3, 18 point one, 25 point eight, uh, 26 point four, 30, 35 point six. And then I'm gonna go to start, uh, linear, uh, start, and then uh, linear regression. And then make sure I have everything correct. Calculate, uh, okay, okay. Uh, so it's 3.09. So this is 3.09. 3.09 minus 3.14, which is uh, 0 0.05. So 0 0.05 divided by 3.14, which is uh, times 100. And that is 1.6, 1 1.6% 1 error. So the regression gave us a better result than base fit line. Regression gave us 3.09 and the base fit line gave us 3.2. Okay, so regression is about 3.1 and base fit line is about 3.2. Base fit line error is 2% and regression error is 1.6%. Both of them are acceptable because both of them are uh, what do you call less than 5%? So now we're going to use the Python to verify how good or bad our slope came from the base fit line. So these are our points 5.5. .5. So 5.5, uh, 8, 8.2. These are the x axis, 9.5. These are the diameters, 11.1. And then we're gonna put um, the y-axis, which is circumference, 18.1, of course, 25.8, 25 25.8, 26 uh, 26.4, um, 30, and 35.6, 35.6. All right, so let's see, we're gonna um, run it. If we do that, all right, so then, Oh, this is what we got from our regression. This is close to this one and by hand we got 3.2 and by regression we got 3.09 and Python also gives us 3.09. So not too bad. By hand we got as good as Python. So not too bad.